Hello, Central Mobile High. It's Friday, and you're watching CNN. And I'm Amy Householder. Congratulations to CN's DI team of Jessica Luce, Anna Selby, and Christina Newman for advancing to state. Good luck. And don't forget to order your order the A year book from Miss Org before the end of the month. Now to this week's episode of one minute with and i'm jared sieber and this is one minute with natalie morehouse and natalie morehouse is a sophomore star player on this year's softball team tell us a little bit, a little bit about the team natalie well this team this year is a lot better they figured because throughout the year we're going to get better right now we're a little iffy is that so? But throughout the <laughs> We'd like to ask you about the uh, play, Natalie. Um, what's your role in the play? I am the Van Heusen's cook. Are you a good cook? Of course. Who has the lead role? A lot of people. Are you sure? Yeah. Matt, anything? Now remember, folks, this is the play of the matchmaker, and it will be produced by CNTC next weekend. Three shows, you better be there. Hopefully you're polite when you're in the play. Rude to be bad. Thanks for the information. No problem. I'm Matt Bennett. And I'm Jared Sieber. And thank you for watching this episode of One Minute with Natalie Morehouse. Thanks, guys. Now to the parking lot for the crappy car of the week. Good afternoon, CNN. This is field journalist Matt Bennett with Crappy Car of the Week. This week we have senior Jake Aker with his crappy car. Jake? Tell us a little bit about your crappy car. Well, it's a 1989 Chevy van, three-quarter ton, and it's got different size tires. Sure is a beauty. Let's get a closer look at this thing. And tell, us, tell us a little about this. As you can see, there's a little bit of rust. Um, it's an old Chevy. That's what they do. They rust. And, you know, the rims, I just cleaned them. They're looking pretty good, actually. Better than normal. Good. This hole right here. It was blowing a bunch of air through in the winter. It was kind of cold. And uh, so I put a little duct tape over it, but it's starting to fall off. And this is where all the magic happens. As you can see, there's plenty of room. Plenty of places to sit, kind of. Plenty of room for a mattress. Most people have to sweep out their car. I power wash it and buff it. Paint's peeling off, we can see. Custom two tone. That's nice. That's great. Got a nice hole here inside and the door. Yeah, I kind of had to unhook the door because you can unlock it from the outside. Jake, you thank you for being on this? Crappy Car of the Week. In appreciation, we're going to give you this yeah. car freshener and this grill. Oh man, you're the greatest, Matt. You are. <laughs> And remember, don't forget to come see the matchmaker. Uh, it gets, it's this weekend on the four, $4. Come support the theater company. Have you earned two varsity letters? If so, see Miss Philly to order your jacket. It's only $75, but it must be in by Tuesday, March 20th. Now it's time to talk to Miss Bushy for the opinion polls. For this week's opinion poll, we will be asking students what they would change about Central Noble. Hi, I'm a custodial engineer for Central Noble High School. 
I think what Central Noble needs is cleaner lockers. Uh, change us back to the block schedule and give us longer passing periods. Hi, I'm Josh Dolan. I would change the toilet paper. Hi, my name is Wendy Johnson. I would like the walls to be changed because it looked like someone peed all over them. Hi, I'm Ian Trillo, and I think we should be able to dance on the table. <coughs> No, that doesn't count. Um, I'm Cass McPherson, and if I could change something about Central Noble, I would have extra electives. Hi, I'm Stephanie Quote. If I could change anything about Central Noble, I would probably change the clicks. <laughs> I'm Ryan Hayes, and I would like to see the institution of Catholic school go uniforms. And uh, guys can still wear what they want. But... If I could change one thing about Central Noble, there would be a lot less drama. I think they should make the ceilings lower. <laughs>